I never knew picking songs was so hard till I made this video. Good God, this was hard. Hey everyone, TBC here coming at you with my top 5 songs from Phineas and Ferb season 1 because if I was supposed to pick my all time supreme favorites from that show, I'd literally lose my sanity. You know, what little bit I have left. <laughs> Joining me today is Phantom Lasley. What's up everyone, it's me Phantom Lasley, and I am really excited to talk about some of the best songs in animation, and I would like to thank TVC for having me on. And Dennington. Hello there ladies and lies, Dennington here on TVC's channel. Let's try not to set the internet on fire, okay guys? Candy promises I won't keep. We'll progress through this list numerically, each saying our 5th, 4th, and so on favorites together. So without further ado, let's begin. Come on guys, age before beauty. Exactly, and you're the oldest. Regardless, Jack, you first. But you're the oldest! <laughs> My number five is Let's Take a Rocket Ship to Space. Um, and I picked this because of the light swing influences as well as just the space theme of the episode, and I just loved all of it. My number five pick is Squirrels in My Pants. This is probably one of the more catchy songs on my portion of the list. Not only is the song fun to listen to, but the overall scene it's featured in makes me want to dance along to it. But I'd probably look like an idiot doing it, so I better not. Squirrels in my pants will get those squirrels in your pants going crazy. My fifth pick is Ready for the Bettys. What better way to kick off my list than with Ready for the Bettys? It says a lot about my taste in music, really. But this song always got me in the mood to just rock out. Also, side note, Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl. You see it? He could be considered Steven. At number 4, I picked Truck Driving Girl. I picked this one just because of the rock and roll the whole thing. I mean, have you heard? It's awesome. My pick for number 4 is My Nemesis. This is only here because the interactions between Doofenshmirtz and Agent P is funny to me. That's it. That's, that's it. My number 4th pick is Evil Boys. Yeah, this song was just too iconic and deserves a lot more recognition than it gets. Honestly, the beats were mind-blowing, the lyrics beyond catchy, and its imprint on me will be everlasting. At number 3 I picked My Nemesis. Similar to my number 5, I chose it for the light swing, but the main reason is because how it reminded me of British Invasion fans like the Beatles and the Who, and overall it's just a lot of fun to listen to. Number 3, Finajoids and Furbots. Hell yeah, this is literally one of the coolest sounding songs in the entire show, dare I say, in the entirety of animation. This is one of those few cases where the instrumental tops the lyrics though. But it's a great song nonetheless. Now you can go put it in your playlist and give it a few hundred listens, and then we can talk. My third pick. History of Rock. Now, at first, it was a battle for me to decide between Fabulous or Ain't Got Rhythm, but I completely forgot about History of Rock. Oh my marvelous god, how did I forget? It was my all time favorite, and it drove me and still drives me nuts. Hail Doofenshmirtz, this song was everything and just so much more. Covers every genre of guitar music. I always did have a weakness for guitars and this song took complete advantage of it. Bravo and kudos to the writers, they deserve a freaking award. At number two, I chose Busted. And that's another one where I just love listening to it. It's an absolute jam and both the backtrack as well as the lyrics from Candice and Ness are just absolutely top notch. Number two isn't even a singular song. The episode, Dude, We're Getting the Band Back Together, has a total of four, count them, four God Status songs. Don't even finish watching this video. Go watch this episode. Leave a like. Go watch the episode. Are you still here? Coming in at number two for me is Busted. Now, I am so, so sorry. I'd never in a million years think I'd ever put Busted as number two to anything but after closer review i found a song i just really liked more than this trust me picking between the two on which will be number one was much more harder than your presidential election was too soon anyway this song doesn't really need much introduction it's just awesome hands down it's the best 
it's so good the two voice talents are amazing they work so well together ah i'm so sad this is the number one but it just couldn't be so you just have to take number two i'm sorry but you're still good i still love you honorable mentions everyone's entitled to just three ready set go my honorable mentions okay let me think um my undead mommy and me The kids at school are gonna have a conniption when they get a load of my funky Egyptian MC. My undead mommy and me. Ain't got rhythm. I have no idea what you're talking about. I've got as much rhythm as that chair. What happened to me was a tragedy, but I don't have to be a millionaire. Look, I got a sweet deal going on here. I got all the books that I can read. All these sweet old ladies in this carpet from the 80s want to smoke at a librarian knee. Besides, I ain't got rhythm. And I love you all. These songs were catching, great to listen to, but and I wish they could have been on the list, but it was down to five, so I can fight them. Just the two of us in an esophagus, it's time to get this mission rolling. Don't need a dictionary, bow, chicka, bow, wow. That's what my baby says, bow, bow, bow. And my heart starts pumping, chicka, chicka, chew, wow. I'm never gonna stop, get you, get you, goo, means that I love you. I said, bow, chicka, bow, wow. For me, my honorable mentions are Disco Miniature Golfing Queen, Backyard Beach, did you have him when you came over? Oh look, there's Perry. And my number one, that's got to be from when we didn't get along from the episode It's About Time. It's the same episode as my ne nemesis, and I love the ballad thing to it, and out of all the episodes in season one, that's my absolute favourite, and for good reason too. When we didn't get along. Number one is the best song, not only in season one of Phineas and Ferb, but the best song in the entire series, and a lot of you may agree with me on this. Number one for me is Busted. Busted is an outstanding duet performed by Candice and... Oh my... Hello, Vanessa. Dude, she's 16! So am I! Anyways, this song is a total soundgasm. Go listen to it! My number 1.5 bonus i'm adding music makeups better here because it's not a full song but i love it all the same anyways my channel my rules deal with it if phantom can have a whole episode as number three then i can have a number 1.5 Coming in at my choice for number one is S.I.M.P. And this song won out over all the others. I have no idea why, but let's not question perfection. Let's just silently appreciate this sparkling gem of a magnificent masterpiece. And Phantom, you are a fucking idiot for putting this as your number five pick. What are you, insane? Do you not know good music?
Cause you know I got it going on yeah. S to the I to the M to the P S to the I to the M to the P If your pockets are empty, get a cash in van S to the I to the M to the P If you're losing your hair, get yourself in plants If you're wrestling a band, then you ain't got a chance Oh, look, a funny just rings and rings Ain't about love Okay guys, that will be all for this video. It was so so much fun to make this video with you guys. You guys are just as cynical and twisted as me and I love it. Anybody got any last words to say before they leave? Go to school, stay in drugs, run with slightly less obnoxious than your suits. I would like to thank TVC for having me on her channel and making this video. It was very fun to make. I enjoy doing these collabs when I can. I look forward to collabing with TVC and Jack in the near future. That will be really fun to do. And I want to thank everyone who's watching this video right now and has gotten this far into it. But if you are this far into the video, I need to ask that you please subscribe to TVC. She's not asking me to tell you this. I'm telling you this out of my own fruition. Please subscribe to TVC because she deserves all the subs and all the money in the world. She's a very talented person. Now, subscribe to her, okay? If you do not, I will do a, ter a, a terrible Rick and Morty impression. Morty, Mor uh, subscribe to TVC, Morty. 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, Morty. I'm sorry you had to hear that terrible Rick and Morty impression. Um, I'm just, I'm just gonna like, step out of the video here. You could, you could take it from here, TVC. I swear to God, I didn't ask him to say that. But aww, thanks, dude. You guys can follow these lovely lads on YouTube or Twitter. Go bug them and tell them what you think of the collab. And with that, this video ends here. Let me know if you want us to collab again for the remaining all four seasons of Phineas and Forever. And let me know if there are others out there you'd like me to collab with. If you want to collab, hit me up and we can talk. And as always, thanks all viruses so much for clicking to watch. Please don't forget to read my books on Wattpad, support me on Patreon. And bloody follow me on Twitter. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay awesome. This is TBC. Signing out.